Today I am back with another DIY. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make some edible crayons. They function like real crayons. You can actually color with these. So I'm really happy with the way these came out. They're really delicious and I'm also not in my regular setup because this is the only clean area in my room right now. So YOLO. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It is also a collaboration with my awesome friend Timmy from Timmy Tomato. If you guys don't know who Timmy is you guys, what are you doing with your life? Honestly, Timmy is the funniest person I've watched hands down. He makes the funniest DIYs ever. He's actually doing edible hair, which is gonna be absolutely hilarious. I already know. I'm gonna link his video on channel down below. You guys seriously need to go check him out. You won't regret it. Subscribe, tell him I sent you. And yeah, without further ado, let's just get on to this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Click that like button, comment down below, and subscribe. And let's get on to this video. Hey. Alright, so to make these edible crayons, we're gonna need some molds, but I couldn't find mine online. They had crayon molds like for cakes and stuff but they didn't have them like this exactly how I wanted them so I'm using regular crayons as molds I'm taking the wrapper off and I'm leaving that aside because I'm gonna use it for my actual edible crayons I want my mold to be a silicone so I'm using this amazing mold putty you can find this at Michaels and also you're just gonna mix the white and the yellow together and this is what's gonna make our mold now I'm just gonna roll it up and kind of like smash it um like a pancake I don't even know and I'm just gonna put my crayons into the mold and then kind of hug them a little bit but you don't want to seal it completely shut because you want to be able to get them out so leave a little crack open once that is done we're just gonna let the mold put it cure and after that is when you're gonna begin to just take them out it's silicone so it's really easy you just pop them out and that's pretty much it well for that part Now let's get on to the fun part, we're going to begin to make the actual edible crayons. I'm using some candy melts and white chocolate and I'm going to put it all, the whole bag in this little um, save heat or oh gosh, I suck so bad at explaining stuff. But I'm just going to put it, I'm going to, oh my goodness what am I saying? I'm going to do the double boiler method and then I'm going to split them in like colors. I hope I'm making sense. Also I noticed that the food dye, I don't know what kind of chemical reaction it has but for some reason it stiffens up the chocolate no matter what I did. I even tried heating up the food dye and it just wasn't working so it pretty much turns into kind of like a dough. So it's actually easy to just grab it with your hands and just put it into the, the mold, you know? Once you've done that, we're just going to put it in the fridge overnight. You can leave it in there for about an hour. I just left it overnight to make sure. And then we're just going to pop them right out. You want to be really careful because they can break on you. And if they do break on you, you can just stick them back together with some more chocolate. And that's literally it. They're not going to come out perfect, so I'm taking an X-Acto knife to clean up the edges and perfect it and that is pretty much it they're really easy to make and they actually look like straight up crayons honestly now to top it off I'm gonna use the wrappers that I cut off the regular crayons and I'm gonna put it onto this one with some tape and BAM it looks like a crayon honestly you can't even tell the difference between the real ones and the edible ones which is freaking awesome I think this is a really fun project to try with kids or if you're a kid it would just be fun in general to try it or you could even trick your friends into thinking you're eating actual crayons and the cool part is these actually function like real crayons as well the more food that you add the more pigmented it's gonna be so I think that's pretty awesome and you can actually eat them and color with them overall I just think it's really cool and I hope you guys enjoyed later dab So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Really, really simple, delicious, and it's perfect for kids and stuff like that or just something fun in general. And I'm telling you guys, you can't even tell the difference between the real ones. I have a mixture in here of real and chocolate ones and you can't even tell the difference. I am so pleased with the way they came out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to go watch Timmy's edible hair video. I'm going to link him down below. Subscribe to him. Like I said, he's absolutely hilarious. I love you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you already are. And thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!